Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome to Star Drop. Uh, I'm hoping this isn't a horror game, because it looked like it might be, because we're in space, and there's a lot of things that are weird in space and stuff, and uh, I really wanted to play a space game, so... Really hope this works out. It looked also like it could have been a walking simulator with puzzles. Probably is that, now that I think about it. And just skipped cutscene, fuck that! Dedicated to my wife and daughter. Are they still alive? Please tell me they're still alive. Everyone has their unique, their own unique story to tell. Okay. That is true, but like... What story are we learning today? But sadly, some of them are lost to the stars. Oh. So... Back to the wife and daughter thing. Now that you've set that up, what does that mean? Still out there waiting to be told. Okay. Okay. You say lost to the stars after dedicating the game to your wife and daughter. I'm putting two and two together and it's not making four. It's not quite making four. It's like 4.14159. It's like pi, but plus one. So is it technically four, or is it actually further along? Like, what happened? What is this? That's a space station, I think. But it looks like they're, it's operable. It looks like it's operating at normal capacity. Hey, Eric, come in. You reading me? No. Good morning, John. Uh, don't know if you looked outside, but we're in space. There are no mornings in space. Yes, there are. Fuck you. It feels like it's morning to me. The clock says it's morning. Right. Well, I'm about to dock the station. You got your pants on? No. I just finished changing. I still need to check for any available missions. Can I... Can I get All sunglasses? Right. Take your time. I'll wait for you at the docks once I'm done. Enjoy my cafe latte. Interesting. You're Don't such care. A hipster. Ooh, 21st century pop culture reference. Nice. That's what happens being around you all the time. Oh, cool. I was supposed to do that. All right. right? I'm heading for the SRO interface now. Is that it? Data save station. Okay. SRO station. Is this one? My mouse sensitivity is fucking weird. It's really fast. Oh, cool. Vending machine. In space. Why don't we have replicators? And why does it still take money? That's a money slot. Why does it still take money? In space! Where am I gonna get money in space? What do you mean, locked? Fuck you, it's locked! I'm gonna fix my mouse sensitivity. Hang on. Okay, that feels a little better. The closed? Well, alright then, I guess I'm not uh, able to do that. Can I jump? Oh, it's a locker. Okay, so where am I going? Closed. Everything operates on an automatic thingy. I can't take my sunglasses. Why? And that's just the save station. Where the hell am I going? Is this it? No, that's not it. That's still locked. Where the hell do I go? Computer, computer... Ooh, it's a transparent computer. Nice. That's just a save station. Maybe I'm supposed to do that for the tutorial. No? Okay. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Is there a, a log of some sort? Oh. 
I can interact with some of the world around me, but I can't actually, uh... Um... Okay, cool. I can pick up things and move them around and stuff, but is there anything I should be doing right now? Anything at all? Like... What do, what do I do here? Am I supposed to grab a snack? Nope! Okay, I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to go, because this doesn't work- Oh, never mind. That's- I clicked E on that! I clicked E on that! You can't just tell me it suddenly decided to work! Unknown ship located near Cassiopeia Constellation. Ship ID unknown. Ship case unknown. No response to hailing. No further information available. Inspect and determine further course of action on site. Got it. John, come in. Seems there's only one available mission right now. Guess it's a slow day today. It's a salvage job. Unknown ship. No ID, status unknown, and it didn't respond to hailing either. It's been discovered somewhere in the Cassiopeia constellation. Interesting. What kind of watch is there? this? Am I power walking Let's right now? Find out then. Copy that. Am I power walking? Is this what's happening? Am I a power walker? Gate 24. Something tells me this is open now. I am wrong in that assumption. Where in the figgity fuck do I go? Do I... Do I go back here? No. No, I don't. This is the only way forward. Oh, fucking shit! I could have entered this entire time. 24... Eight, 24... This does not look like... Departures, here we go. Deck 24. This is kind of neat, but like... I'm confused as to how to operate the world, because there's no necess there's no indication that I can interact with the world. There's just... Press E to interact, and... I'm, it doesn't pop up saying that I can do that. Hey, Space stocks. John, what do you think we'll find on oh, the Oh, hello. Ship? You're a robot, man. Uh... I have no clue. Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, we literally know nothing about it. All I can gather from the reports is that it has to be old. I mean, no recent ships have been reported missing from this region. You know, maybe it's a pioneering vessel. It got lost or broke down. Maybe. That would be amazing. It would be, because then we'd would. explore it. But it's a long shot. There are still numerous ships out there that haven't been recovered. Ships that we even we don't know about. So, what's this? Is open? Are we depressurizing? Are we repressurizing? Open the door! I wish to get inside. Ooh. Oh my god, we're in space! And yes, I know we've been in space this entire time, but the excitement just hit me, because I'm seeing that we're in space, and not, like, Living in a thing in space, it's like a an airplane dock, not an airplane, an airport, a spaceport. Oh, we're in a spaceport. Did we just jump to warp or light speed? It, what what is the what is the terminology here? Salvage and rescue operations, star drop. Okay. I don't know what planet or moon that is. I'm assuming it's a fictional one. It could be... I could be completely wrong. So... If it wasn't responding to hailing for... to hails, would that mean that it's... dead in the water? Or that its communications are down? Or that it's dead in the water and its communications are down. Oh, I hope not. I want to be able to keep in contact with the friendos and not assume that all communications from the ship on are dead. 
Also, this sounds very sad, so I'm starting to get, think that maybe I'm going to arrive there, fall into a coma, and then wake up several hundred years later, and then everybody I know and love is dead. I, I, I'm, I'm calling it now from, like, first impressions. Somebody's gonna die. Don't know if it's gonna be me. And there's gonna be a lot of death up until that point. Uh, I, I'm, I'm making the assumption now that that might be the case. If I'm right, don't tell me in the comments. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. Because then, like, then I wouldn't know what's going on. Actually, just don't tell me in the comments, I guess. It's kind of, kind of like, let it fester inside you until it hurts, I guess? And then when it's fi when I finally get to that point, tell me, and then tell me how long you knew, and then uh, I'll apologize profusely for embarrassing myself. <laughs> I don't know. We're in space! Space, people! Space is fucking awesome! Can I play the game now? Is, is it loaded? No, oh, we're still watching cutscenes. Okay. Is this a western theme? No, this is country. Okay. How, uh, how appropriate. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Please We're never speak like this again. Be a consolation, and we'll be reaching our destination shortly. I hope you've enjoyed your flight with us today. If you look out to your left, you'll see space. <laughs> if you look to the right of the plane, you'll also see space. Very funny, John. Yeah, actually. I know, I know. I crack you up. But yeah, you need to get yourself ready. Grab your data pad and head over to what? the APD station. And get Kitty! Home. We're almost there. Oh my goodness! That, Captain. There's a kitty! Oh my goodness! <laughs> There's a kitten! I love you! I love you. No one better die in this. Especially not the kitten. Is there an auto feeder and an auto waterer thing? There better be. I'm gonna be really sad. I don't know how long this goes on for. Can I open the door, please? Should I... Should I do anything? Looks like your save station is offline. I think one of the power con conductors is overheated. You should be able to turn it back on and power up your save station and some other interfaces. Okay. What about personal? Something tells me... That my crewmate's going to die at some point. Can I open anything? Got my data pad. Awesome. Oh, cool. I was supposed Remember, to do the something. The default key to use your data pad is Q, unless you change your key bindings, that is. You'll be able to keep track of any or all current objectives, like the one I am sending you now. My data pad in the gallery uh, has some more info regarding your data what? pad's features. Just do it. Oh, and my data pad is on the table in the galley. There's some interesting info on it. Any data from these pads you collect will show up under the log tab in your own data pad. Now, go pick it up. The default key is E. Okay. Um, I'll check it out and head for the APD station. Copy that. Does that mean I have to go out now? Kitty, stay here. Be a good girl. That's not it. I gotta go to the galley. Galley, 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 where the fuck are you? Is this the galley over here? I think it might be too. Kitty, no! I know you love me, but... oh. Okay, oh, you do have an auto-feeder. Okay. There you go, kitten. You'll be good. I got important stuff to do. In space. That was his data log. New station get changed. I'll see you in the cockpit for the final. Okay, so I need to go to the. Wait, what? 
That's a keg. Also, I can't... I don't seem to be able to... Uh, interact with anything anywhere I want. I have to be, like, s one step behind where I what where I am in John, front of it. I'm all suited up. Oh, I'm explain it. All right, Aaron. I need to be so on the thing, but a step back from the thing in order to interact with it, rather than just be on top of the thing. Uh, John, I know. When you press the F key, it'll toggle your helmet's flashlight on and off. John? You can also zoom in and out while holding down the Z key. This can be useful if you need to identify objects at a distance. John? Or use it as some super high-tech magnifying glass. Right. Okay. I mean, it makes move sense on to, to me. The APD suit's most important function, the object scanner. I I need you to run a quick system check to make sure the object scanner is calibrated properly. Sure, but you realize There's a note inside this room somewhere with a code on it. I need you to locate and inspect it. A pointer will show up on your HUD whenever you're close to something that you can expect. You really need one, a two, hobby, one, John. two. Anyway, I'll go find your note. One, two, one, two. Already done. Found it. Good. Done. Now press the R key to turn on the object scanner. Any objects you can interact with will light up, making it a heck of a lot easier for you to detect objects that you can use. Such as a computer terminal, keypad, or control panels, for instance. The object scanner can also scan through walls, but it only works on objects that are receiving power. Note that if you run while the scanner is activated, it'll turn itself off. It's a delicate system, after all. Now go and detect the keypad and unlock it. Um... Oh, there it is. Okay. One, two, one, two. Done. Am I done now? Did I pass the test? Oh my god, am I going to be outside in space? This is glass, Man. though. What a sight. Oh, yeah. It's a planet. I know, right? Or a moon. Anyway, head over to the cockpit. Scanners are indicating we're close. Okay. Roger that. To the cockpit. Is this... It's a save panel, isn't it? So how do I turn it on? Uh, that doesn't help. Okay, I guess we'll just continue on. Is this the cockpit? This looks like the cockpit. Oh, here we go. Here's the save station. There we go. That's not important. Hello. You're oh, just hey. in time, Miss Vance. There she is. Hmm. It's pretty small if you ask me. Yeah, I know. She's an oddity for sure. Picked up anything yet? Hmm. That's not yet. it. Still running preliminary scans. But since you're here, I'm engaging safety protocols. All doors of the cockpit are locked in setting final approach vector. Okay. I've also set up a live feed on that station behind you, so you can check out whatever the scanners will pick up at the monitoring station shortly. Thanks. Okay. Hey, huh. John. You remember our first job? You were so off from the coordinates. We spent hours looking for it. Yeah. Turns out you're not so great at adjusting the long-range antenna. This hunk of junk was pretty much duct taped together. It's a wonder anything worked at all. Are you kidding? It's still mostly duct tape. <laughs> yeah, but we had fun. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Are they married? Or dating? Or are they just really, really good friends? Anyway, the scans are done. Ooh. I'm gonna look through this data right now. Let's see. Life signs, none. Power, backup. Motion, none. Like Home integrity is 75%. Uh, owner, unknown. One. Purpose, unknown. Hmm. Personnel that's transport. That's a pretty unconventional designation for I don't think that's how you spell personnel. Yeah, it usually means it's privately owned. I'm not detecting any life signs on board either. So the crew is... I mean, there are no signs of any humanly remains. She's empty. What? Um, okay. Well, what, what about else? robots? Oh, wow. Hey, Aaron, you ready for this? What? So I'm running a database check, but I'm not finding any references of an SD-01. On top of that... I've never seen a model like this before. 
Are we oh, against robots? Here you are always boasting about how you're able to identify each and every ship out there. Hey, every single known ship out there, that is. But yeah, this is what's blowing my mind right now. This definitely must be a privately owned ship. I can't figure out where Something it came to from spark? Or who it belonged to. Something's sparking. I don't there. even really know how old it is. Your guess? Without a doubt, mm. not built recently. Even privately owned ships these days must have a database entry. I'm betting the ship is either from around or shortly after the pioneering era. She must be at least around 50 years old then. So what's she doing all the way out here? I don't know, man. Mm. The ship was either lost or dumped here? We're not really getting much out of these scans, are we? Should I just I'm go sorry. and take a look? She's keeping her secrets to herself. Only way to find out anything is if you board it. What are the risks? So I'm boarding. Well, I'm not detecting any movement. Ship's integrity seems fine. Well, if there's no movement, then, then maybe I'll be fine. Still operational. I can interface with the ship's the life signs. Most of it's offline. Unless they're all robots and waiting for power. something to you come to in and move them, move and then kill me and well, stuff. Anything you can. Well, I need to know what happened to it and its crew, and what it's doing all the way out here. Yeah. I knew you'd say that. Judging from the ship's design, it seems to just be a dropship. It's not big enough for a prolonged stay in deep space like this. Then that means... That means there's another ship out there somewhere. Another ship? Hey, hey, don't get ahead of yourself. Just focus on this one. We don't even know if the ship's database is still intact. True. You sure you want to go ahead? No. John, please. I don't, but I got to. Just want to make sure. Are we Docking good? procedure engaged. Hold on. Holding on. Holding on. Ooh. All right, we're in space, so it's not moving. We're moving. What does that sound? Should I have been concerned about that sound? Because it sounded bad. Oh, we're docking in the back then, aren't we? I think we're docking in the back. All right, Aaron. Docking procedure complete. Understood. John, I'm heading down to the airlock. Got it. Copy that. Disengaging safety protocols. The elevator door to the airlock is now unlocked. You're good to go. All righty. Let's see what other stories she has to tell. Hopefully good ones. Hopefully a lot of good ones. I'm ready for story time. Okay, airlock is over here? Is this the airlock? Is this where I can go to get the airlock on? Is there oxygen in there? I mean, it was spark- one of the engine things was sparking, so I'm kind of wondering if there was even any oxygen in the first place. Okay... Airlock? I'm at the airlock. Okay, Copy airlock. That. I'm opening the first door. Copy that. Alrighty. Are we good? Should open the second door now. Once we're depressurized. All right. Okay. Here goes nothing. Well. Okay. Right. Stamina gauge? Oh no. You are currently inside the main airlock on deck two. There are four decks in total, including the bridge. And oh that's no. Can be accessed. Which should tell us where the ship came from, and well, more importantly. John, the elevators are back in service. Awesome. Well, that takes care of that problem. Well, it's your pick where you want to go to first, but you still need to bring the main generator back online. It should restore power to most of the ship's components. I was not informed this was a I horror game, but the fact that... one or deck three. Considering the main generator is down on deck three, I suggest you go there first. Got gotcha. It. This better not be a horror game. It did not say it was a horror game. It did not say it was a horror game. Just a mystery game, so why is there a sprint meter? 
Am I gonna be running from stuff? Deck three. I guess this is the engineering deck. That's right. Did the subtitle say deck one? Oh boy. Look that way. Alright, so I go this way. Security status okay. Alright. Huh? Man, what a creepy book. Oh no. Oh no. 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 I don't like this. That's a security guard, isn't it? I don't want that. I found the generator. I don't want that. I don't want that, dude. <sighs> that does it. Hold on, Aaron. There's another one. Another generator? What do you mean another generator? Correct. It seems the ship runs on a dual-powered singularity system. A what now? It basically means the ship uses two generators to handle the power output throughout all the decks. So, there's another generator I need to restore? That's right. I'll go search for it then. I don't want to go search around. for it. Sometimes the power lines in these older ships are exposed. Use your object scanner to locate them. It should light up and show you which way to go. Good idea. Thanks, John. Always a pleasure. I don't want to. You know what? I'm going to not do that. <laughs> I'm stopping right here, and I don't care. I'm gonna look into this and see if there's any horror elements at all, because the fact that I see a guy there tells me that there's some horror elements, and I don't want that. I, I, don't, I don't... I'm a pussy in that regard. I am an unashamed pussy in that regard. I don't want to play horror. This is not what I expected today. So, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shrill and Love you all for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to Whirlybird, Dark Castle, 3DS, and Cat for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Probably not this if it actually is a horror game, but whatever. We'll see. So, bye-bye.